Hello, this is Tony Heller from Visitech.ai. Today I'm going to show you how quickly and easily you can use Visitech.ai to learn about climate and weather history. Temperatures are very cold in much of the northern hemisphere right now, with some of the coldest weather being censored in Ohio. I attended kindergarten and first grade in Cleveland, Ohio, which looks like it's about the coldest place in the country right now. So let's take a look at the history of January 21st temperatures in Ohio. We're going to start by going to app.visitech.ai. The page fits perfectly onto my monitor, but depending on the size of your monitor, you may have to resize the page by using Ctrl plus or Ctrl minus. Now I'm going to click on the green microphone button and tell the computer what I want it to do. After I'm done talking, I'll click the Submit Query button. Ohio Temperatures. Now we can see all 1.3 million daily maximum temperatures in the United States Historical Climatology Network database for Ohio. That's a lot of data, but the date we're interested in is January 21st, so I'm going to select that date. Now I'm going to zoom in by right-clicking and dragging a rectangle around the area of interest. I want to make the points a little bit bigger, so I'm going to go over here to Settings and set the point size to 2. Now I'm going to click on the Trend checkbox to create a trend line. You can see that January 21st temperatures in Ohio have dropped sharply since the year 1900. And if we look in the trend box here, we can see what the rate of decline is. Ohio January 21st temperatures have been declining at a rate of about 0.12 degrees per year. That's a very rapid rate of decline, about 12 degrees per century. And if we move the mouse cursor over here, we can see that Ohio was very warm on January 21st, 1906. Waverly, Ohio was 78 degrees. Summer weather in Ohio during January is very interesting, so I looked up that date on newspapers.com. And here's an article from the New York Tribune, January 21st, 1906. Heat prostration in Ohio. Record smashed in West. And it wasn't just warm in Ohio during January 1906. Victoria, Australia set their all-time high record temperature. So let's take a look at Australia temperatures during January 1906 on app.visitech.ai. Australia temperatures. Now we can go up here and select all stations. We're interested in January 1906, so let's zoom in on that time period. Now let's zoom in closer. Once again, I'm going to make the point size bigger in the settings. We can see that it was very hot in Mildura, Victoria on January 7th, 1906, and they had another very bad heat wave around January 24th. And this is exactly what the press reported on January 8th, 1906. So now the question becomes, why was it so warm in the United States and Australia during January 1906? And here's another article I found on newspapers.com. Warm weather easily explained. On January 22nd, 1906, astronomer Samuel Leland explained that the warm weather was due to giant sunspots breaking up. Another famous astronomer, Abby Moreau, said the decline of the sunspots was likely to cause a large earthquake in March or April 1906. And then on April 18, 1906, San Francisco was largely destroyed by a massive earthquake and fire. In just over four minutes, we learned a lot of historical climate and weather information by using app.visitech.ai. And here's some more interesting information about past Januaries. It's pretty cold in Philadelphia now, but during January 1790, which was George Washington's first month in office, it was very warm there. The mercury often ran up to 70 degrees in the shade at midday, 
Boys are often seen swimming in the rivers. Visitech.ai is a very powerful application for learning about climate and weather, but it's also equally as useful for many other types of data. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and visit Visitech.ai.